Welcome to Rooster TV and today we're joined by senior coach Josh Carr. Josh, thanks for joining us. No worries. Uh, before we get on to the football, um, you need to uh, probably clarify a few things from last week's Rooster TV when Max Thring was on about the, uh, the table tennis uh, competition that's going on. Uh, Max was pretty clear in his thoughts that he's only one behind, but apparently that's not the case. The, uh, the big issues at the, at the football club That's types. Massive issues. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look, I think you know the truth, um, Daryl. The, the score is actually about 12 0, and uh, Max has decided to, to call it quit. So I was pretty disappointed in my captain to be acquitted like that, but. I guess when you get to 12-0, then uh, there probably is a mercy rule. So that's probably where it's at. Yeah, he put me on the spot last week, Max, and I did play along with it. So apologies to the coach for that. But uh, the coach is clearly the better player, and he's got him on toast, really, haven't you? Absolutely. On to the football. Minor round's done. We're uh, playing finals again for the first time since 2013. So great work to yourself and the boys. Um, Adelaide Oval last night, we had a bit of a running a run around there. Um, how are the boys feeling and what are your thoughts for this week's game? Yeah, it was uh, exciting um, last night and obviously the last few days to to, to move on from, I guess, the, the home and away season and um, into the to the real season in finals football. So it was exciting being in Adelaide Oval and, um, you know, we should have a, a pretty much a full list to, to pick from uh, this week. Maxi, he, he should be right to, to come in and, uh, we, you know, it's good to have the skipper back for finals. Yeah, just talking about Maxi, he has tracked well over the last few weeks and, uh, yeah, what, he just needs to get through training and he'll be... Yeah, he like needs uh, obviously a good week on the track. Um, you know, the possibilities, if last week was a final, um, you know, there was a possibility that he could have played last week. I would have thought if he gets through this week, he'd be no worries for uh, for Sunday. Yeah, and probably just on the injury list, just probably a quick update on uh, Rizzo with his ribs and also James Craig with a bit of general soreness and tightness in his hamstring. Yeah, look, at this stage, Rizzo looks like he's probably done um, for the year. Uh, he had, a, I think, the, the fractured cartilage or something in between, between his ribs. So uh, that's disappointing. You know, we, it's probably not how we planned it, but uh, I guess that's a good message for, for any player that you know you never know when your when your last game could could be. So disappointing, but I thought the players and the, and the um, supporters um, sent him off in a good way um, in the game on the weekend. And, and James Craig with the hamstring, yeah, he's just got some tightness there, and I just uh, I, I guess it's a bit of a we don't really want to uh, risk him. We want to get him right, um, have him ready to go. If we have a couple of big guys go down, then we know we can call on James. Yep. And just on the weekend's game, uh, first quarter we got off to a, a pretty good start and then the second and third quarters was uh, a little different and uh, it was good to fight back in the last quarter and get the win and some confidence, just some, uh, some, some words on that game. Yeah, look, uh, the first quarter... I think we had nine scoring shots um, and didn't kick the kick straight, which you know that's the uh, name of the game to, to get it through the big post. So that was uh, yeah, we didn't get off to a good start. And then I just thought as the game went on, um, we gave them a little bit of a sniff and um, being Samo's last game, he kicks a goal and they get around him and the pressure sort of built on us. So the second and third quarters weren't um, a pleasant sight for anyone who would have been at the game. But in the last quarter, I thought we we, we played the the brand of football that I that I knew we could play and against the breeze and you know to kick four goals to one and um, pressure around the footy, win contested football, um, all the signs that you know you, you need to I guess get right to, to win finals. Um, so uh, I thought we've given ourselves a good little springboard into into this week. Mm. Definitely the first quarter, then was 19 inside 50s to 5. We just mm. didn't take our opportunities, but the boys did move the ball well. So, And just uh, on to the reserves, they're, they're into the uh, qualifying final this week. Um, their form's been pretty good over the last half of the year. Yeah, it has. Um, you know, I think it's a pretty talented um, group of young players. Um, you know, a few guys that played in the under-18s grand final a couple of years ago that are, that are out there and played finals last year in the reserves. Um, along with you know a few players that we've young players that we've added to the list as well, um, so I think that's exciting um, for the group um, to to play in finals and and to still be around and, and a part of what we're trying to achieve as a football club with the league team. And yourself, obviously, you be your first finals campaign as a as a coach. How are you feeling? Anything different this week or no? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm as usual. edgy in the way of you know like you just want to be a part of it, and that's. Uh, Sunday feels like it's a long way away. Um, you know, we're just, uh, you know, taking I guess each day, each day as it as it goes, and uh, preparing. Um, you know, obviously for the Sunday game. So for me, uh, it's just about getting the players right and having them ready for this game. And how's Serge going? Obviously, he's had a bit going on the last few weeks with a little baby, and he's in the finals and talk, talking it up. Yeah, look, he's 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 excited for the football club. Um, you know, it's been a while since we've had all three grades in finals, so um, that's exciting from from the club's point of view. And he's, 
as, as head of development. Um, I think he's done a great job this year to um, to develop those younger players to, into the position that you know where they're playing finals football now. Yep. And on to this week, obviously the three games, as Josh mentioned. Uh, we've got the under-18s playing Saturday at Woodville Oval, 11 o'clock versus Norwood, which will be a big test for the, for the young roosters there, with Norwood probably fielding a pretty strong side with some state kids to come back in. The reserves will play 2-10 at Cooper Stadium against Glenelg, uh, who we had a really good hit out against uh, out here a few weeks ago at Prospect Oval. And obviously the, the game on Sunday, we play South Adelaide, Adelaide Oval, 12-15 start. And we hope to see a massive crowd in, in red and white to uh, cheer the boys on for a win. Thank you.